Yeah, I'm kind of on the same boat with you. I actually tried to play a little bit of hardcore, a little bit of classic, even a little bit of season of discovery. But it's like I've already been there. They try to spice it up a little bit with the season of discovery. You have this extra skills, or maybe you can do yeah. a shaman tank. But the game just felt so slow to me. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, I will say one thing though. Um, all right, this is exciting. There's people who play it. Uh, it's much easier to get into, by the way, for new players because it's it's yeah. different game basically. Um, but at the same time, I um, I didn't get engaged into that. I even thought that I'm gonna go back and play. Let's say now that they're re releasing Mist of Pandaria or uh, the Cataclysm, because those are things that I haven't played back in the day. I thought that I'll be excited and I'll go back and play them, but I didn't. I, I just didn't want to yeah. spend the time. And I think one of the main reasons for that is that these things are not connected to your retail account. They're not connected. It's a different game, right? And yep. uh, I actually went and played Plunderstorm because it was connected to my account. It felt like part of the game, although it was a side game. And I played a lot of the Pandaria Remix because the characters from there, you would actually get some achievements on your main account. You would get some mounts and then they become part of your account. So I leveled so many things on the Pandaria Remix. It had problems of its own, like it was not the content that I was expecting, but I played it because it felt connected. Right, and those things they just don't feel connected. So, I think that um, if there was some kind of a connection, maybe you go and play classic or season of discovery, and once it's over, whatever their endpoint is, you can either transfer to the next one, or you can just get the character into your main account, kind of like what they yeah. did with Remix. That would yep. probably get me more exciting, or especially if they had the achievements, because I haven't done those. I've done many of the achievements post factum, but. Um, I'm missing a lot of them. So if at least the achievements count to your main account or something like that, yeah. I would be more excited to go and do that because it, right now it feels like, okay, I'm playing the side game, but it also feels like I'm a little bit wasting my time because I could be doing stuff on my main account on my, the, the retail account, which yep. is going to be mounts or whatever rewards you get there. And whatever I get on the side game is going to stay there and then I'm going to ditch it and it, it, it's kind of like I wasted my time. So maybe that's yeah. something they can think about um, to, to make it even more engaging because I'm kind of sort of interested to it, but in, in, in its current state, I'm, I'm just not going to play it. I'm just not going to play it. You know, I love that concept. And I think that if they do that, I will definitely play because there's some elite sets uh, for PVP that are really amazing. That you can't get it it's, it's not unattainable there. yeah yeah and so if they bring out you know pvp because these things have pvp seasons um you know it would be amazing to go back and farm those out and, and get elite get 2k 2200 2400 and be able to unlock those on my main account so transmog that'd be amazing yeah and i think that's a, that's a very good point because that would be sort of a fair way to achieve those because let's say uh, you're saying oh i'm missing down tra transmog i can't get it it would be kind of dumb to bring it back and you can just buy it with currency now or something you know yeah, uh so it, it, it wouldn't the same impact yeah meaning, it wouldn't yeah. feel good to you to buy it it would feel bad for yeah. people who actually achieved it but if they yeah. tell okay we're bringing it back but now you have to go back and actually earn it the way that it's supposed to be earned. Yeah, exactly. That's I think cool. that's going to feel fair for, for basically everybody, yeah. right? And if you yeah, obviously cool. it's not just you're going to log in and get it. You have to go level, grind, yeah. get the gear, and yeah. then get the score. So yeah. maybe that's that's definitely something that they need to look into. into the I would future. do it for sure. Even the glad mounts and stuff, because I don't have a bunch. I only have, I have two glad mounts. It's like I, I would love to be able to. And I'm capable. Sometimes I just don't want to grind it. Uh, I, I would love to be able to go back and get some of those older ones. They're amazing. Yeah. yeah. And even for me, it's not even about those things that I were that were in the game and you cannot obtain anymore. I would like to experience this the way it's supposed to be experienced when everybody's playing it. But I just don't have the incentive to do it if I'm basically not getting anything out yeah. of it. Right. If it's so just gonna be it's just gonna sit dark it's, after. If it's only just the achievements, I would be more invested into that. But right now it's That's just cool. like, yeah, you, you guys play your thing. I, I know it's fun, whatever for you, but uh, it's just not my thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm right there with you on that.